Ghazal is happy to buy a Barbie doll for her birthday. But the Iranian government is not happy with Barbie dolls and other Western toys flooding their market. In an official letter this April, Prosecutor General Gurban Ali Durina Javabadi complained to Vice President Parviz Davoudi of their destructive cultural and social impact. He said, quote, The displays of personalities such as Barbie, Batman, Spider-Man and Harry Potter, as well as the irregular importation of unsanctioned computer games and movies, are all warning bells to official in the cultural arena. Undoubtedly, the personality and identity of the new generation has been put at risk and caused irreparable damages. Authorities tried to confiscate Barbie dolls from toy stores in 2002, but they couldn't stem the Barbie tide. In the same year, the Ministry of Education introduced Dara and Sarah. Unlike Barbie, they promote traditional values and wear modest clothes. But Iran is not alone. Saudi Arabia banned Barbie dolls in 2003, saying, quote, their revealing clothes and shameful postures, accessories and tools are a symbol of the decadence of the perverted West. Even Russia tried to ban Barbie the same year. Its Ministry of Education feared that Barbie, quote, was seen as promoting sexual awareness to too young an audience, presented girls with an unrealistic body type to emulate, and inspired materialistic desires that were unattainable for the majority of the Russian girls. Washingtonian Tunashri Jaghi grew up with Barbie, but she disapproves of the doll. It's reflective of kind of Americans overly obsessed um, kind of passion for sexualized toys for children. I don't think it's the government's role to be banning. I think it's uh, parents' responsibility to decide what does go in and out of their children's lives. I think there's bigger fish to fry than Barbie. I think there are lots of other things. The economy, health care, education. In much of the Arab world now, the alternative to Barbie doll has been Fulla. She has an accessory that Barbie lacks, a pink prayer rug. Fulla has taken the Arab market by storm for a fraction of the Barbie price. And for now, kids in Iran, like this one, get to enjoy their prized Western toys while they're still around.